So technology is not a barrier to sensible value investing, especially when you do these return calculations, and especially when you are a specialist and an expert in that technology. And not only is growth been the tricky part for value investing for value investors, I should say, for a long period of time, but also technology. And we have moved from manufacturing to a more service-based economy over the past few decades. And I think uh, the provision or this uh, sort of avoidance of technology stocks altogether by the value investing community has sort of uh, now been beginning to be scrutinized. Well, I mean, again, the crucial thing is, that can you know what you're buying? Yeah. So there are stable technology stocks that have been around for a long time. Microsoft, Oracle, Adobe, Intel. They've been around now for 40 years plus. And all the evidence is they dominate niches. That is local markets and product space. And that doesn't seem to be going away. And you have stable histories. And if there are stable histories, there are going to be opportunities. I mean, yeah. Google is actually reasonably stable, too. And in 2011, it was trading at a ridiculous price. And if you actually sold options at the same time, you could get it at nine times earnings. Really? And that was clearly a dominant business. Now, that means there are going to be opportunities in technology, but they're not going to be Tesla where we really have no idea how stable the franchise is. We have no idea what the growth rate looks like. So technology is not a barrier to sensible value investing, especially when you do these return calculations, and especially when you are a specialist and an expert in that technology, and you know those companies. So there are lots, for example, of applied software companies in Turkey and places like that and if you're an expert in that, those are stable businesses and have been stable businesses for a long time. But you can get an idea of whether you have a sensible return at the current market price and you have a margin of sales. So again, I think the critical things you always come back to with value investing are, you have a sensible search strategy. Are you looking in areas where you're going to be on the right side of the trade? And do you have a good valuation methodology? where you're not trying to value things that are invaluable or you're not trying to calculate returns that can't be reliably calculated. And then just being disciplined about waiting for your change.